Hello students, so welcome to Pravega Education. My name is Alok and students, I am continuing my uh, YouTube series on Introduction to Electrodynamics by David J. Griffith. So as I promised you, I will continue with vector now. So students, uh, a main chapter, that is the starting chapter in uh, David J. Griffith is about vectors and the vector calculus will form a foundation for you for the whole book. So you should be uh, very much aware while reading this chapter and your effort should be twofold. First effort should be do the vector separately and the second effort is while doing the chapters, for example, electrostatic, magnetostatic, concept of vector potential, etc. Again, revisit vectors. So every time you find something on vector calculus, which is not clear to you, you should revisit the vector to make it uh, sure so that your foundation is very, very strong. Okay. So students in vector, uh, the first thing is about the coordinate system. So you can see here the Cartesian coordinate system and uh, what is the important thing about this is, just a second. So uh, suppose this is your x-axis. Okay. So suppose this is your coordinate axis. This is x axis, y axis, and z axis. x axis, y axis, and z axis. So you can see in this figure this is x is equal to 0 plane this is z is equal to zero plane and this is y is equal to zero plane. And all three perpendicular planes, they combine at origin. So this origin is what? Where all these three planes combine, intersect. So that is called origin. So in every coordinate system, whatever I am telling you in the Cartesian coordinate system will work for other coordinate systems also, okay? So in Cartesian coordinate system, all the three planes, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, and z is equal to 0 combine at a point that is called origin, okay? And uh, there are two words, one is vector and another is vector field. Vector field. So vector field will be very, very important concept for your case because vector is just uh, some point x comma y comma z and you represent it by unit vectors like x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. But this vector field is the property of the region. This is property of the region around uh, the space. So this is more important because these quantities, electric field, magnetic field, all these are vector fields or magnetic vector potential. All these are actually vector field. So what is the difference? Like if you have a position vector, it is a vector. But if you have an electric field, so I component will also depend on X, Y, Z j component coefficient will also depend on x, y, z and k cap co coefficient will also depend on x, y, z. So this will form a vector field. And now you can see here that if you make a small volume like it is in the figure like this, this is small volume and this axis is y, this is z and this is x-axis, 
so you can very easily see what will be the small area so what will be the small volume first of all it will be dx dy dz and for example if i talk about this area this will be dy dz this area this will be dx dz this area will be dx dy and uh, bottom will be also dx dy with opposite sign okay so if you take area vector perpendicular to the area back side will be opposite in the direction so this is cartesian coordinate system x comma y comma z the vector is written using unit vector xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap and then vector field will be written by using all three coordinates x comma y comma z okay so uh, next thing is very important suppose you have this vector r which is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap this is the vector then how you will write the unit vector so suppose you want to write unit vector about x axis so you should do it like this dr by dx upon mod of dr by dx so this is how we will calculate unit vector so what will this come out to be this will become i cap okay so similarly j cap similarly k cap so F, this will become very interesting when we will deal with uh, cylindrical coordinate or spherical polar coordinate system how to calculate the unit vector okay so if any vector is given you want to calculate unit vector about this about this about this so you can do it like this similarly you can do it about r theta phi and rho phi z in other coordinate system that i will do in the later video okay so just understand this very small thing about the cartesian coordinate system in this video okay thank you so much